invited Sweet Tea to get on the show is because when I met her, I thought, honestly, I'm just be honest with you, Carlos, you get it out of me. I thought, listen, this girl going to be hilarious because if she come up against Quad, Quad going to eat this bitch alive. Make sure you guys subscribe to the channel, comment. I always want to ask one question at the end of my videos to get you guys involved. Honestly, I really want to know your opinion. Uh, which is also why I asked the question. So make sure that you guys go ahead and comment below once the video is over. If you like the content, subscribe to the channel. All right, now let's get to it. So the episode starts off with Quad visiting Phaedra. Now they talk about, you know, what she's doing in her dating circle. And Phaedra points out that Quad is frequenting Africa, in particular, South Africa right now they show her with her new boo well she said it's new but he's fine and i don't know about y'all but i love a foreigner i'm married my husband is african as well and um he was definitely giving yes he was and she looks happy i mean overall the impression that i got was that she's content with where she is right so far in the episode now, they start to talk about the issues that Quad has with Toya. And Phaedra wants to know if Quad is willing to reconcile. And she said no. And Phaedra laid it on her, letting her know that Toya has spilled the beans about Quad having a DUI. Now, I did like this because we're being honest, right? She being messy. But what I liked was that Quad owned up to it. I mean, first, of course, well, why is she talking about me? Why she in my business? You know what I mean? Of course that's coming, but I love that she didn't deny it. She owned up to it and it's done. It was done. Now, see, you know who could take a page out of Quad's book is Robin. I am so glad that Juan Dixon is not here right now. Robin could take a few tips from Quad. See how quick we got that out the way? She said, I did it. I did do it, even though she was being messy while she in my business. But yes, it did happen. And it's gotten thrown out. Next. Robin. <laughs> right? I need you to go ahead and see how that works. Now, Quad did say that she felt very hurt by Dr. Heavenly for hanging out with Quad's ex-husband's new wife right at the time that they're taping it's fiance but we all know moving forward like today's time they're actually married now she says that she hasn't spoken to dr heavenly now i told you guys in the last review that i myself thought that the intimate settings of the couples that they were having and meeting up with the new wife, even without Dr. G, like, you know, I know you guys are friends of both Quad and Dr. G, but you guys are meeting up with the wife in intimate settings, you know, um, without him, you know, like at really integrating her into the friend group. Now, I know some of that is for the show, but it also seems authentic because, you know, these people are really friends. Unlike some of the reality shows that we watch, these people are truly friends and have been friends for, you know, 15, 20 plus years. So, um, I kind of could understand how Quad feels about them integrating in her into the, in the new wife into the group and Quad is kind of taking an exit. We don't really see her as much, which makes me question, are they truly friends? Because why do we only see them when it's time for taping? I mean, I don't know. I feel like if she is also, um, a significant part of the friend group, then we should also see her as well. And we really don't right. See her too much. Um, in the groups, even from last season, it was only a few. So um, she says she hasn't talked to Dr. Heavenly and she felt um, kind of hurt by that. Right now, she says she's happier, right? She's happy where she is. She's not tripping. And Phaedra says that she can tell that he's happier with Sweet Tea than he was with Quad. Now that's, and that's also what Dr. Heavenly said as well, right? And that seems to be a little bit shady because now we're comparing the two. I mean, why can't we just say he's moved on? He seems very happy where he is. But instead, whenever they talk about his happiness, it's in comparison to when he was with Quad. Oh, he's happier with Sweetie than he was with Quad. Oh, he's smiling more. 
you know, with Sweetie than he was with Quad. Oh, he doing more. And he's just, you know, we just ain't never seen him like this before. Because when he was with Quad, it's like, <laughs> I cannot. Like, it, it, it's clearly messy. And it's a bit much. I don't know. Maybe it's some truth to it because it's come up a few times with a lot of different people. Uh, but I don't know. Y'all let me know what y'all think. Is that too much? Can we just address that he's happy now? Or do we constantly have to keep comparing his happiness now versus his ex-wife, who also is supposed to be y'all friend, right? Now, I don't know if you guys know this, but Heavenly was the one who co-signed and brought forth Sweet Tea because she thought that it would be good for the show. Mm -hmm, you see, messy little Heavenly, <laughs> puppet master, She's got her moves and everything. She was the one who told producers, hey, check this girl out. This is good. This is messy. It's going to bring the ratings up, right? Now, that's out of Dr. Heavenly's own mouth. So I'm not making anything up. Dr. Heavenly be trying to get to that bag. And as long as it doesn't affect her family, then anybody can get it. Watch this clip, y'all. Invited Sweet Tea to get on the show is because when I met her, I thought, honestly, I'm just be honest with you, Carlos, you getting it out of me. I thought, listen, this girl gonna be hilarious because if she come up against Quad, Quad finna eat this bitch alive. All right, y'all. So now that we've seen that, put that to bed. Quad says she hasn't spoken to Dr. Heavenly, right? So she's been hanging out a lot more with Sweet Tea. And I agree with Phaedra. The phone does work both ways, right? Come on now. I don't for a second believe that Dr. Heaven Heavenly hasn't talked to Quad because of Sweet Tea. Dr. Heavenly don't even really like Sweet Tea. Let's be honest, right? So whatever reason she ain't talking to you or you ain't talking to her or y'all haven't communicated, I don't think it has anything to do with Sweet Tea. Now let's jump to the scene where Dr. G comes home. He greets his woman, Sweet Tea. And he comes home to a hot meal. Now, Sweet Tea says she worked from home and she enjoys being home and taking care of her man. Mm. Something quiet, didn't have time to do. Right? <laughs> now, she says she plates her man's food on a real plate. Not the paper plates that y'all be using, a real plate. Now, they start by talking about the wedding and how much he's paying for it, right? Now, I realize, okay, we're already arguing over finances. She said that she wants him to be more hands-on, that she herself does not have a planner. She's doing everything herself, um, which I think is great. That's going to save them some money. And, of course, I'm, I'm, um, we know that she's happy with the finances that she is being provided. But I did still think that that was a red flag because, you know, this is her first wedding. She's excited about it. She didn't ask to have a planner or maybe she did, but she don't have one. She expressed that she's doing everything by herself and she wants him to be more involved. I know that's probably not a man thing, but that's why we have planners. So I don't know if that was a money thing, why she decided not to do it. Um, but I still thought that that was a red flag because he's complaining about the amount of money um, that he's paying. And she really pretty much downplayed it, making it seem like him paying for it wasn't significant because when they were talking about it, she was like, well, all you, all you doing is paying for it. What you mean? If I don't pay for it, then it's not happening. So we do have to acknowledge when our man is paying for something and that is a significant part of it. You know, I know that you're doing all the work, but you doing all the work and buying things is not going to happen if he don't put forth the money to do it. You know, so I kind of, that's a red flag. We're going we gonna to watch that. We're going to watch that. The money. We're going to watch that. Now, Dr. Jackie's seen, it cuts to her practice and she's hired new help around the practice so she can dedicate more time to take care of herself and home. And probably a big deciding factor of this was her husband. Now, you know, their marriage was a little bit rocky and we haven't had, we haven't seen him and so much in the last few seasons, like he was taping very early on. So it's no surprise that he ain't really been on camera much these past couple of seasons, nor have we seen him yet in this season, right? Um, so I'm sure that that has something to do with it. And I think that's great. I think that's great because if that's 
causing an issue in your marriage and this is really really where you want to be. You've dedicated a lot of years to your practice and you're doing amazing. It's time to step back, you know? And sometimes women, we love what we do and we don't really want to sacrifice that. We also making money when we do it, but I think it's great that she took into account her marriage and her husband and just her own mental health. Dr. Jackie's getting older. Girl, you've been doing this for a minute. Let these young girls do it and you just slap your name on it and, and make sure that it's being ran right and do your thing right now Toya comes on she talks about launching a wine collection titled titled Toya's Wines and she's having a gathering to showcase it she states that she's been doing this every quarter uh but normally she just slaps her name on the product and now she's actually going to be a part of the process tasting and choosing what she likes and kind of creating it and making it her own i'm happy for her so often we see kept women and we give them a hard time you know all through the seasons they've said she's lazy she's a gold digger she's this and that whenever she does try to do something they tell her mm, you just stick to you know being the housewife you know, they kind of bat it down. So I like that she's doing something that she actually loves. It looks like she's, you know, really involved in it and really cares about it. And she's been doing it for a while. So that's great, right? Now, fast forward. <clears throat> she's, so she's making a call. She's inviting all the ladies. Now, they end up having a conversation with their sons, her and her husband. Sit down. They have the birds and the bees talk with their boys. I think coming from um, the parents and one of them being an ER um doctor is really good because who knows more about what goes on in the health field than him and so I'm, I love that he was able to point out situations that he's seen uh, from working in the ER of trans uh, uh, you know diseases sexually transmitted diseases that you can and cannot get rid of you know how important it is to use uh, contraceptive and and I think it's great because also the viewer who doesn't really know how to bring that conversation to their children um, it's a great I think they did great at making it not overly sexualized, making it a fun conversation, getting the kids involved, but also being quite frank and letting them know the real. So I thought that that was great um, as well. A lot of people don't really know how to bring that conversation. They say that it's very uncomfortable. So to see them be comfortable and be goofy, that was cool. Now, <laughs> let's go to the sweet tea dress shopping. Sweet tea goes dress shopping. She brings one of her friends along and then Toya joins. Toya doesn't like quads. So I think it's a perfect match that they would get along. That's not surprising. Now, when Phaedra shows up, that was a little bit questionable. I'm like, Phaedra, you know, I mean, because she just had her scene with quad and she's very close with quad. And I hadn't seen her had have a scene by herself with Dr. G. So I'm like, are you more friends with quad? Cause she talks about her relationship with Dr. G, but I ain't really seen them, you know, have a scene together. So I was questioning it at this point in the episode right now. I know it must be tough to play both sides because in one breath, you are close to quad, so you say. Then you're very close to Dr. G, G, knowing him even longer because you only met quad through him, right, through your friendship. And so I, I just want to know, how is that? Like, how is it playing both sides? Is it tough? Because you want to be a friend to him and support his new wife, but then you also want to have loyalty to Quad um, and not be too chummy chummy, right? So that must be difficult. Now, Toya and um, uh, Phaedra, they asked Sweet Tea Friend, who is also there, how they met. And she said that they met through an online group for women who date older men called <laughs> the, the, the Age Gap Group online it was a group for black women who date older men now i'm gonna say this at one point i liked older men too so i get it i understand that for some women it's a preference but this is going all out and it shows <laughs> her true dedication right she's trying to get her tips she's trying to get around other women who doing the same thing so i'm i'm trying to understand is this through you know uh, you really just want to make sure you're the best wife to him because he is older or are we trying to, you know, manipulate and, and find best ways 
in that way, you know, because she's shown a few red flags already. Now, I learned through therapy um, that when there is a significant age gap between you and the person that you're dating, if you're a woman, right, that that's a red flag for daddy issues. And that's even if it's about a financial gain, because there is still a form of security, right, that a financial gain gives you. So something that you're seeking that you should have been seeking or gotten from your father. Long story short, stop it. It's given a lot. And then when she said, oh, well, they need to understand that, you know, I'm young, I'm a millennial. And that's what we do. We do everything online. Girl, girl, bye. <laughs> like, girl, stop it. Just stop. Now, all the ladies meet with Toya, right? As she, share, as she shares with the ladies about her new venture. And of course, the age gap group got brought up. Now, Dr. Heavenly asked Sweetie, what do they talk about in the age gap group? She was trying to be funny. It didn't seem like it came from a real concerning place. It was really like trying to be funny. And Sweetie asked her, do you want to join? And Dr. Heavenly resp responds that my man is only six months older, so I don't know if I'll meet those qualifications. Y'all, the clapbacks was clapbacking. I would have responded, well, why are you worried about it? Why are you worried about what we do in the group then? But instead, Sweet T feels attacked. <laughs> and she starts talking about all the situations where she felt ganged up on by the ladies, right? So from mentioning quad to talking about her body, because they was going at her when she was trying on her dresses. They also had things to say um, when she had her hold down. <laughs> They also were comparing what the house looked like when Quad was there versus what the homes look like now, what the home looked like now. And she was crying. She got teary eyed. They started flowing and Dr. Simone had to pull Sweet Tea to the side. Now, she gave her some encouragement. She was very positive with her. Um, but she also was very real with her. Like, no, you got to put your big girl panties on. And I, and I feel for Sweet Tea because I understand you're trying to be cool with this group. But you understand that you're at a disadvantage because they're also Quad's friend, right? And they're a lot older than you. You're, you're the young girl in the group. And they already have preconceived notions about you based on, you know, what they know. And then things that you're saying. I don't think she's helping herself by saying some of the things that she's saying from, oh, this look good. Having access to the money. You just my house now. And, you know, because Sweet Tea be talking mess. If you look online, some of the lies and all that, she be talking mess. Right. OK, she be talking mess. So I don't know. Now, this is where this was good for me to see. Now, when Phaedra meets with Dr. G, I, I like that because remember earlier in the video, I was saying I didn't know is she really his friend because I'd never seen them interact together. So this was great. And it was just him and her right at a dinner. And she meets with him and she discusses his new relationship with Sweet Tea. And, you know, she wants to know what does he like about her? And he says that Sweet Tea makes him feel safe. And he has a friend in Sweet Tea, which he didn't have with Quad. So Phaedra asked, um, did you feel scared of Quad? And he said, yeah, he had fear of Quad, which is interesting, right? It's very interesting to me because they were married for six years. Now, Phaedra asked if he has a, a prenup agreement, uh, like in line, working it out, anything with Sweet Tea. Um, and he says that he ran it by her and she has no issue with it. But it didn't seem by the way that he answered that he was really hung up on she's going to she's going to have to sign a prenup. It seemed honestly that if she pushes back, he ain't even worried about no prenup because I think he feels like she is just that genuine, which is kind of crazy to me because if she really is that genuine and she is that girl when they're alone, why are we not seeing it come across our screens in that way? Why is she seeming like a gold digger and an opportunist in her scenes when she's with the girls? But then, you know, when we hear about her interactions with Dr. G, it's always completely different from that girl. It's more she's authentic. She cooks. You know, she's I've never seen him this happy and this and that and the third. Um, so I don't know if they're editing it, editing it that way, editing it that way, or if this is truly her, because it's really making her out really to be a gold digger and a, and a villain. Now, so Phaedra wants him 
you know, to cover himself. Now, in her confessional, Phaedra says that she has never seen him this happy before, ever before. And again, this is crazy because they all keep saying that. And so I think we may have to look into this because, you know, Quad and Dr. G, like I said, they've been married. They were married for six years. And I know he wasn't unhappy the whole marriage, but every time you hear people comparing the two, they make it seem like he was just miserable when he was with her. Mind you, Quad was the one who initiated divorce and not Dr. G. So if he was that unhappy, he wanted the baby, he was in fear, he was this and that, I'm surprised that he wasn't the one who initiated. Maybe he was trying to work it out. I don't know. Well, that was a lot. That that episode was very packed and I think it's it's, it's kind of interesting. I want them to show more of this beautiful person that Sweet Tea is when she's with him. We see a little bit of like, you know, when she, when she's interacting with him, but even when she's interacting with him, it'd be given too much because when she was feeding him the food or plating his food, she, I, I give my man, I plate my man food on a real plate. It's just like, uh, it's always given, I'm trying to outdo, it's always given a bit much, unauthentic, but the way that they speak about her, it don't seem unauthentic, it seems real. So I don't know, you know, I'm gonna end it here. That's all I got for this episode. I really wanna ask you guys, are you guys getting the same thing I'm getting? Is Sweet Tea authentic as far as being, now I know she's being authentically herself. I'm not saying that she's not being authentically herself. I said that. I believe that she is who she's showing. However, what I'm saying is, is she authentic in her love for Dr. G or is it given I'm doing a bit too much? And are we giving her a pass because of the dynamic of the situation of quad and being on TV or are we not? I want to know, are we team sweet tea or are we not? Make sure you drop those comments down below. Again, subscribe, like the video. It really helps the channel. I appreciate you guys for sitting here and listening to my video and I'm out. See you guys next episode.